Hi, welcome to Rising Vibration. This reading is for Cancer. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, or Rising. This is for if you have a Cancer, Sun, Moon, or Rising sign, or even uh, some placements in Venus with Venus. Uh, you would watch this reading if you would like to figure out if you can get your Cancer back in your life. This is like a fool for love, I want my Cancer back reading. Hey guys, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. We're going to go ahead and keep this out. It's the King of Wands. This is for the period between now and the middle of April 2018. And this is also assuming that there was not a highly acrimonious negative split with your former Cancer, Sun, Moon, or Rising man or woman. You still have a way to communicate with the Cancer and it's not a highly negatively charged communication. You know that you haven't reached the point of you no know, return. So let's look and see how the Cancer currently feels right now. We're going to also look at what the Cancer wants and we're going to look at the overall spectrum of their current dating life if they have moved on or if they are still thinking about you. And finally, we are going to look at the overall strategies you can employ to try to build a bridge back to your Cancer, Sun, Moon, or Rising Elemental Sign. So, the Cancer consistently has pulled Major Arcana, the Empress card, um, and we have the Nine of pentacles as well as the nine of cups the cancer has really been in this mode of wanting a lot of emotional dedication and overall dedication of self uh, from others especially lovers in their life and they are still feeling this way. The Cancer is in great need, great need of love, compassion, emotion, affection on a psychological, emotional, and physical level. They want, uh, they want someone who can meet them eye to eye in every respect. And they still feel like this. They still want this magic touch, healing touch, healing touch is still there. Uh, it seems to me that they are still missing a former partner who they split with, even if they thought the split was necessary. We have the four of wands. Even if they thought that the split was necessary or that it was logical, they are still missing this person who they split from. Uh, but they they are feeling like they need to be alone because they haven't been able to overcome their emotional self and they they are they are needing some downtime or alone time anyway beyond this and they know that and they felt that yes they just they need to have this singular time, alone time, downtime, uh, and they need to be alone right now. They are feeling a need to be so like alone without a partner, without a another in their life right now. So we're going to look at real quickly how they are feeling about moving on or if they have met someone else. I would say right now with uh, the cards that have been pulled, something like the Hermit is called the Master. Uh, we also have Incompatibility, the card of the Incompatibility and the Dreamer. Let's go ahead one more time. So the Cancer Elemental Sign has not been able to move on in a decisive way. Uh, because they are still fixated and thinking about their life and about the past, perhaps about also about past partners, and they're just not ready yet. They're just not ready to move on. They want to take some time alone, um, and that's it. Perhaps they're focusing, especially if they have kids in a, 
prior relationship or partnership, they're focusing on their family, they're focusing on their kids right now, uh, and using this as a distraction um, to stay on balance right now. So if you would like to get the <laughs> if you would like to get the cancer back, to me this looks like very clearly you can um, you could you could revitalize that situation. You could start over with your cancer right now, but it would really have to be like a fresh start, a new start, a fresh start, a new start. You cannot come back and deal with the cancer in the same way that you have in the past. Whatever has been the complaint in terms of uh, the sexual aspects of your relationship, and I'm going there, um, it has to be remedied, it has to be fixed, and you may have been overwhelmed by the mood swings, you also may have been overwhelmed about the physical aspects of the relationship, um, or feel like the cancer was too needy or too high maintenance, and this will still be a factor. This will still be a relevant factor for the cancer, and this may have even been the reason for the split or the departure of the cancer or the split in the relationship. And it's still there. This issue will still be there. But if you're very sweet, if you're very nurturing, if you're very kind to the cancer when you approach them, uh, they will be open to speaking with you. They will be open to interacting with you, and they probably also would be open to... Um, yeah, starting to build a bridge or a path or a way back to you, back to the relationship. But just prepare yourself because I do feel like there will be there will be a lot of tears. I'm hearing there will be a lot of tears, a lot of crying. There may have already been, but this will continue. The tears will flow. And perhaps in these tears, you will find... Yeah, some type of um, like a change. I can't find the word now, but in this cleanse, purification, cleansing and purification. This is necessary. These tears for the cancer right now, but tears together, crying together, holding each other. This will be the way back to the cancer. So that's what I have for the cancer, sun, moon and rising, fool for love. I want my cancer back reading from now until the middle of April. 2018. Thank you for joining me. I hope you guys like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you back here next month. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.